Um, shall we start the show? Yeah, let's start. I'll go over to the by the fire and you ask me a question, all right? All right. Say, Craig, uh, what are you doing over there? Uh, just warming the old testicle, Jeff. For the uh, <laughs> just the one, though. Just yeah, the one. just warming one. Actually, I have two, right. but I'm just warming one. The other one is uh, is out of favor with me. Right. <laughs> I banished him to around the corner. <laughs> You upset your testicle. No, no. On the contrary, my testicle upset me. Oh, I see. It behaved inappropriately <laughs> at, a, at a gathering I was at over the weekend. <laughs> Were you wearing shorts? Actually, even worse. Uh, for legal reasons, and because I am still partially European, I had to wear Speedo. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm warming one and I'm taunting the other one <laughs> with the heat. I'm like, oh, and one of them's like, oh, this is lovely warm, and the other one's like, oh, please, I'm so cold. <laughs> and it wants the day off for Christmas. And I'm like, no, you can't have the day off for Christmas, little testicle. <laughs> so you're, you're the Scrooge of your, of your testicles. I'm the Scrooge of my entire genitalia. Yeah, I understand. So you're very, you're very, uh, very mean to you. You're very petty to your penis. <laughs> well, you know, I get my testicles, but you know, I enjoy, I enjoy Dickens, and that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> who doesn't? Who doesn't enjoy a good Dickens? <laughs> well, actually, the, he was a very controversial figure in Victorian times. Oh, yes. How so? How so? Well, he used to. He was seen as something of a socialist, and because mm -hmm. uh, he was like, hey, a lot of these people are very, very poor. Shouldn't we try and help them a bit? And they were like, how dare Tell you, you, Mr. Dickens? This is outrageous. <laughs> Learned quite a bit here at the top of the show. <laughs> Still taunting the other testicle. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, if you do the test on that voice, okay, then, yeah, all right. Hey, come on, come on. Oh, all right, you've melted my heart. Oh, oh that's, that's much better, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Oh, that's very so, we're only a couple of minutes in, and you've already learned that my testicles are cockney. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> time brought to you by the Craig Ferguson cappuccino machine. Is that coffee in your pants or are you just happy to see me? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Peter in New York, New York. You ever been there? Peter, yeah, a couple times. Sure. Okay. Uh, do you know that Craig, my name Craig, is actually Gaelic, uh, Scottish Gaelic for uh, for Peter. For Peter? Yeah, yeah, because uh, Peter is from the rock. Jesus said, uh, Peter is the rock, and on the rock I build my church. That's right. And the Gaelic uh, for rock is Craig. Craig. And so the name uh, Craig and Peter is, is the same name. So Peter on the rock. Peter, uh, no, they're just Peter, Peter, you know, Peter. Right, but Peter was on the rock. No, no, he wasn't on the rock. He was the rock. Well, of course, my name. You know nothing you know about what? the Bible. You, you are my rock. You are my Peter Sud. <laughs> you are my testicle. You are my Dickensian urchin. Urchin? Yes, yeah. urchin. urchin. It's like a Dickensian urchin, right. but it's French. I understand. Yeah. So, you are my Dickensian urchin. <laughs> you are... Now, I would like you to do Cockney French All right. in a scene where I will be Mr. Scrooge okay. and you are a fr French Mr. Scrooge. You're, you're and right. you will be French Dickensian urchin. With a Cockney accent. Yes. All right. Cockney French. Got it. All right. You are not getting my day off this Christmas. 
Oh, sir, you, your baguette. Hey, hey, even. hey, they can't all be winners. <laughs> yeah. Peter in New York says, Dear Craig, all I want for Christmas is for you to crumple up this tweet, toss it to the floor, and take a phone call. Happy New Year. Catherine! How dare you? Excuse me. Hello? <laughs> Evil Santa? It's me, Craig. Evil Santa. <laughs> with a kind of annoying laugh. Oh, whatever you want it to be, Craig. It's your show until Friday. <laughs> What's going to happen after Friday? I'm the new host. <laughs> you're not, no, you're not. No, you're not. I'm not? No. Oh. What do you mean? Wow. Who the hell would watch uh, the Late Late Show with Evil's Ashley? I, I would. would. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be great. I would so totally but fucking it was, show. Show. it was a show, and there was a show called The Late Late Show with Evil Yeah. Santa. I'd be like, I am Good fucking hell, dog. Yes. Wouldn't you? Yeah, he would insult everybody. Yeah, you'd be like, a, a Evil Santa with yeah. his own late night show? Come on, Adult Swim, your move. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Isn't it Celebrity Call-In Monday? I think it is. Yeah. Okay, I wonder who's here. Hello? Hi, Craig, it's Dr. Oz. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right. I think I've got some kind of... Yeah, one of my testicles has been... Uh, but is pretending to be cockney. I understand. Okay, well, when your testicles pretend to be cockney, what you want to do is take a handful of pine nuts, just rub it on your testicle for about two hours. It's going to tickle for a little bit, and then it's going to go away. Your testicle will probably fall off, but you're going to feel much better. I'm Dr. Oz, you can tell. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm still here. Dr. I'm still here. We'll be right back, everybody. Kaya, search one and done. There are lots of reasons to finish college. At DeVry University, we can help. actor. He is also an astronaut. He has his own fragrance. Am I right, Jeff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's in Black Mirror, White Christmas on DirecTV's Audience Network on Christmas Day. Please welcome John Hamm, everybody. <laughs> Here. Wow! You came out of there like it was like a like a shot, like a shot, like a guy with a beard. <laughs> you go like I got a beard and I don't care Shit. anymore. And, yeah, I can't stand still. It's it. First of all, it's itchy. <laughs> May I touch it? It really is itchy. Ooh. Yeah, it feels a little bit like clean your pots. <laughs> That sounds, that sounds, well, that's not where I keep my pots. Well, really? No. Now clean your pots well, for sir. you, sir? Yeah. Well, sir. No, uh, is, was that for Movember or for a job? Was it for a job? No, no, it's because I don't have a job. Ah, <laughs> I'll be growing a beard at the end of the week. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mad Men's coming to an end. Have you shot the final episode? We have. Oh, well, yeah, there you are, then. that in uh, July. And I've been uh, gainfully unemployed since then. How is it? Are you enjoying it? I heard there was a, a mail carrier job up in Alaska. There is, yeah, yeah. In the town of. Uh, I already got the bit of Savunga, I believe. Yeah, Savunga, I was, yeah. I was looking uh, looking at it, and it uh, looks pretty nice, I gotta say. I think you'd do well in Alaska. One of these? Yeah. Oh, come they, on. They, the beards are very popular, and uh, plaid, Whoa. I believe. Plaid, you get a flannel. Plaid, a bit of flannel, and uh, your own team of huskies. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm telling you, there are worse ways to uh, to do it than that. Yeah, I'm tell I I like the idea of. See, I'm going to woke the earth. There's one. There was only one mailman. I think that's why the guy quit. I think a tag team mailman situation. Hey, yeah. We I like cover. that. I think we could probably talk some people into doing a tag team with us, John. <laughs> Yeah, we got one guy. That's all. That's all we need. Imagine though, if there was a, if a like of a weekend or a weekday, yeah. and you're in Savunga, Alaska. The yeah. mailman knocks on the door, and it's you and me. <laughs> Here's your uh, thing, Publishers Clearinghouse. I think they'd be like, well, you're, you're not the, you're not the regular guys. guy. Where's Dave? <laughs> Dave, uh, Dave quit Dave again. Quit again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dave. Hey, uh, what's the Black Mirror White Christmas thing? It's very exciting. It's a uh, Pardon. British television shows. Oh, hey, steady now. I know, I know. Relax. Don't be racist. Don't be racist, my ass. <laughs> Don't be racist, See? bastard. Words can hurt. Words can hurt. Oh, well, apparently, yeah. Don't be a racist, uh, it's, 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 uh, It started a couple years ago on uh, Channel 4 over in uh, in the UK. Oh, yeah, I worked and, with uh, them back in the day. And it's uh, it's a bit like the Twilight Zone. So each uh, each episode uh, kind of has uh, standalone. Right. They don't have the same cast. It's they're all different stories, and they're set in the sort of vaguely uh, near future that looks very recognizable. But it's about technology and how it kind of twists and and sometimes doesn't uh, work the way we think it should. Did you make it in Britain? I did. I showed it uh, a couple months ago over in uh, in London. So when you watch British television, when people are presenting shows, did you notice that they start talking like this and finish up talking like this? <laughs> like all the time, do they, do they ask you to act like that? John, when you're acting, can you start off like this and then finish your sentences like this? I, I, I got to play an American, so fortunately ah, I, 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 I avoided that entire thing. Well, maybe they, you could add that little twist for uh, them. That could be part of the Twilight Zone thing. Next time I have to do a British accent, that's 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 it. Have you ever had to do that? Uh, I had to do that once when I had to work with uh, Dan Radcliffe, but I basically just oh. I sort of mumbled and that that uh, solved it all for me. <laughs> that's very good. Right? Yeah, that's very good. I was like, you sound like Her Majesty the Queen. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's, but you've done. You, I mean, you well, I did a talk show. I was just, I, actually, strangely enough, I was in. Uh, I was just over in England, and I did a talk show. The two of the guests, one of one of which was the mayor of London. Oh, who very much goes like that. Is that Boris guy? Boris Johnson. No, 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 that guy. Yeah. It sounds like I'm not kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, no, no, no. Uh, and the second guest was uh, one James Corden. Jesus. I know. He's lovely. I spoke to him on the phone. He's gonna be so much better at. It. Oh, I think so. Right? I think so. I mean, I talked to him on the phone, and he, and he, he, he said, said he got a lovely phone call. For I said I called him up, and I said he, he said I'm very scared, and I said you mustn't be. I've left the bar very low for you. <laughs> and he, I, what I told him to sort of finish that thought, I was like, you have to understand, no one will be watching. No one will be watching. Not at all. I mean, I have driven this thing into the uh, fucking ground. <laughs> I've known James for probably three or four years. Just I've known him about ten years. Okay, well, so we've both known <laughs> him for some time. Yeah. But I said, but 15, 15, 15. Rest, rest assured, no one else in America knows who you are. <laughs> so it's you're you're already like halfway home. No one's watching and no one knows who well, you are. Well, he said, I mean, he said that to me. I'm like, dude, I got this job from being eighth banana on the Drew Carey. <laughs> For about 15. I've known Kathy Kinney. It's got to be going on 50 years. 50? 5-0. Yeah. Okay. We well, were, good. Thanks for playing. That was we, I was going to say we were womb mates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Secretary. Yeah. Secretary yeah. says yeah. yes. Yeah. Hey, what was the talk show you were on in Britain? The Jonathan Ross Show. I know him. 
am. I'm sure you do. He's you guys are in nice. a fraternity of talk show hosts. He, he talked to a bit of a wobble, 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 a wobble,
quite popular with some he's people. He's incredibly popular, and uh, and and you know what? He uh, he's an interesting guy because he kind of just says whatever he thinks. <laughs> well, you can't. Have which that. never no, happens you can't in politics. Have that. No. So the, one of the, his 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 handler, his uh, his uh, publicist or whatever, was like, "Do you think uh, Boris could have a run in American politics?" And I was like, "Good God, no! No, <laughs> no way! No filter and yeah. crazy hair? Yeah, nope. yeah. not happening." Have you ever met John Gennar? No. The mayor of Reykjavik, Iceland. No. He's awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he, I had him on... You know how he won? Yeah. Because he got all the trolls to vote for him. Yes! <laughs> but you know what he did? He was a stand-up comedian, and when Iceland went bankrupt... Yeah, it's true. When Iceland went bankrupt, he started this fake campaign. And he... I was fucking up. <laughs> and, and he was just... He was like, his campaign was so... You know, like he said, uh, things like, uh, we'll give away free towels at the swimming pool. And people were like, well, that seems good. Uh, and he wouldn't let anyone in his cabinet unless they'd seen all uh, five seasons of The Wire. <laughs> this is like the list of why I like Iceland. Keeps yeah, growing and growing right. and growing. Yeah, no, he's amazing. Guy. I hear that I've never been to Iceland. You know, we not, should go I, there after Alaska. Alaska. After Alaska. We'll go to Iceland. Because you know we're going to mess that job up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we'll be like, I don't know, we got bored and uh, there's a pile of mail. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, we're going to Iceland. How many people are in this town anyway? Anyway, guys, come get your mail. It's in a pile. It's got your name on it. Craig and I are going to hit Reykjavik. We're going to go. We're going to the Reykjavik. Sun, uh, sun sets at uh, noon. Uh, and then rises uh, yeah. half past. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait. <coughs> it. It's going to be awesome. John Hamm, everybody!